November 2001, Fiat released their internal project called 192. The plan was to compete with the Ford Focus and the Golf MK4. But due to planning mistakes, the launch came too early and they released a car that was not finished yet. Project 192 became Fiat Stilo. And they released the Fiat Stilo in three versions. The Fiat Stilo 3 door, the dull looking 5 door and of course the Fiat Stilo multi-wagon. The car was a disastrous failure for Fiat losing 2.1 billion euro. And their last attempt to sell some cars at all had to come from Michael Schumacher. They made a special Schumacher edition which I also restored on this channel. If you have not seen that video, you better check it out. The story of the Fiat Stilo always intrigued me. So I decided to redesign and rebuild the version where Fiat failed. In the last episode we removed the dashboard and we are going to continue from there. The dashboard is in my back garden and we are going to replace the fabric. Which is, it's soft but it's hard for the leather version which is this one. I already tried it and basically it just comes off like this. So we're gonna heat it up and remove it and I'll see you in a bit. So I removed the old fabric, um, it went pretty easy to be honest. Now it's time to install the new fabric, very soft material, looks like leather. So. And I'm still wondering what to do with this, should I use it like this or should I use carbon or just black? With the black letter etc uh, let me know in the comments what you think so I clean it up a little in here um, before we are going to install the dashboard and the door panels and the seats I need to do something about all this wiring um, I want to install some lights over here there and underneath the seats um, and the plan was to use the ceiling light because when I open the door the light will go on but someone mentions that the lights on the passenger uh, on the drive side door and the passenger side door also opens when you open the door so the plan is to use that wire and then cut it and then add a new wire to there to there of course from this door panel and underneath the seats and the wiring will go through the door inside and will come out like this By the way, this is just for testing purposes, of course. So don't go all crazy on me in the comments. <laughs> this is all for testing, just. So it might look a little dutchy at the moment, but. So, I joined these two wires together. Three wires, to be honest. Two are going to these, and two are going to these. So, when I open the door, both lights light up. This one is obviously for the door panel, and this one is either going uh, underneath the pedals or the seats. I'm not sure. So, what I'm gonna do right now is take a wire from here through there, 
into the car underneath the pedals and underneath uh, where are you the wires here so this is probably going like this so when the door opens so imagine this is the seat the door opens and the light turns on I'm gonna do it right now and I'll see you in a bit so just a quick update because it's raining um, I made two wires a purple one and a green one they are going through here and they come out on this side there are some green pins if you can see it like these those are unused holes so I removed three of them and I inserted the wires wires into there they come out on the other side I did the same on there and then they enter here so just a quick update I'm gonna continue because it's raining it's absolutely shitty weather to be honest so I'll uh, show you the end result don't mind the mess and the wiring of course um, but I just wanted to show you that it's all working we've got a light over here a light over here and another one over there obviously I'm gonna store them some somewhere safe uh, but that's for the future um, I need to do the foundation of the car first before I'm gonna install all the interior otherwise you can't and yeah, you can't simply reach it but also because I've got electric seats so yeah um, let me show you that's all working opening in the door got a light got a light and we've got a light so street lights are working by the way when I close the door lights go out open hey it's working well let's continue with the interior because it's a absolute mess so we sorted out the lighting um, on this side, I'm gonna do the other side in the future. For now, it's time to install the dashboard back into the car. As you can see, the A pillars are already in there. Same on that side. I'm gonna install the dashboard and see what it looks like. Let's go. Well guys, the dashboard is in and I'm not really 100% happy with it because I made a few mistakes. I made a few mistakes because this is a profession. The people that build dashboard like this, it's their profession. It's a people skill and I am obviously an amateur <laughs> trying to build a brand new car outside. Yeah, great plan. Anyways. <laughs> The few mistakes that I made, I made a small hole over here, so when the air vent is coming in, you will see this little tiny mark over here. The other problem or the other mistake that I did is blue mark over here and I broke the plastic piece that goes over here. I tried to pull it and it just snapped right into pieces, so yeah. It happens and the other mistake that I did is I ran out of fabric so I've got two options I'm gonna redo the whole dashboard again um, or I'm gonna use some Alcantara or leather over here so there's an instrument cluster coming over here of course and a steering wheel so we're only talking about this piece from here here and on that side but that's just a simple loose piece so what would you do would you retrim the whole dashboard again uh, so then i have to buy a new vinyl again that's fine but or would you just install everything and see what's left and finish it up with alcantara 
But for now guys, I am very happy with the result. Um, the next plan is to install a brand new instrument cluster that we are going to design uh, together. A brand new steering wheel, Android radio. I'm gonna think about those panels. I hope you want to think with me. Let me know. Carbon, leather, uh, Alcantara, you name it. Just help me out, guys. All the buttons on every panel, uh, like the door switches, etc., will all have white LEDs. So in the end, it will look like a modern car. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Because in the end, this will all be a brand new car. Ha, let's go. So the thermostat is removed. Um, I'm sorry the battery died because it took so long to remove this hose. It's the first thermostat, so everything was very, very tight. Uh, it was almost glued to the thermostat. So anyways, I succeeded.